Good morning. It is 4.30 in the morning. I'm about to attempt the craziest day trip I've ever attempted. London to Monza, towards the Italian Grand Prix, and back home to London on the same day. Is this possible? We're about to find out. So it's 4.30 a.m. I gotta to get to London Stansted Airport for a 7.20 a.m. flight. It lands in Milan in Italy at 10.10 a.m. Italy obviously an hour ahead of the UK and then hopefully if there's no delays because it is Ryanair so there could be delays but if there's not delays if I land at 10.10 I could be out the airport by 10.30 maybe and then I got until 3 o'clock when the race starts Italian time to get to the circuit. Um, the two options are public transport and taxi. Public transport you've got to get a train to Monza station and then a shuttle bus. Or you can walk from there actually or you can get a taxi there is no access to private cars to the track but taxis are allowed taxi is more expensive but it's easier i might get a taxi charles is starting first yes a couple things i have heard is that power banks are not allowed so that's a problem so this power bank is amazing like i've been using this on holidays it's charged my phone fully twice in the same day I can't take it into the track, so that's a problem. And also, there's a token system. There's a token system. You gotta buy this thing. You gotta buy tokens to buy food. Apparently, that's so weird. And drink as well. Apparently, it's chaos. Hopefully, there's no tokens needed for clothes because I'm looking at the one-off yellow livery for Ferrari. It looks so cool. I want to buy it. Hopefully, I don't need tokens for that. But it sounds crazy. Apparently, you've got to queue up a long time to get those. So that's going to be trouble. He said no backpacks over 15 litres. That's the rule. I don't know how many litres this is. Like, what's the capacity? I don't understand how it works. But hopefully, they said nothing bigger than a school bag. This seems school bag size. I don't know. FFP2 masks, just in case. They ask about it on the plane. Uh, inside is my laptop. Laptops are, laptops are allowed, but not power bags. I don't know. I don't know why I'm doing this. These could get very dirty, but... I got my name on these shoes, I thought I'd show them off. So power banks are not allowed, but you can apparently rent one at the circuit. Probably for tokens, it's ridiculous. Anyway, I got a laptop, laptop charger, that's my headphones, and uh, phone charger, spare mask, and my camera, which is uh, on a limited one hour battery. I've got no spare batteries, I lost all of them. So I got a camera with one battery, <laughs> and my phone which will run out of battery with no power bank this should be fun nevertheless i am very excited monza, monza is one of my favorite f1 tracks and i'm so excited to go and see as a ferrari fan to watch an f1 race at the home of ferrari with the possibility of a ferrari driver winning the race it's going to be amazing um max is very dangerous though i think he might win the race but hopefully charles does hopefully it's a great day for ferrari because I'm looking forward to being part of the posse. I'm sitting on the main straight, so let's go. I didn't film any of it, but there's about 20 police cars that are parked outside there with lights on. There's a lot of police just walking around. I don't know what happened there last night in my neighborhood, but something's wrong. Hi, see you soon. Thank you, thank you, David. Ah, it is so foggy and dark out here. But to be fair, the red glows. The red does glow. Right, I'm through security. I checked in online, no suitcase to check in, so straight to security. Bit of a queue, but we're through. You know, smooth, no problems. Let's get to our gate. I brought along 350 euros, and I thought only 125 of it is cash, and that's a bit low. So I withdrew an extra 100 euros just in case. So now I've got 225 euros cash and two to five on a travel money card. Travel money cards are so good, but I look, look them up, travel cards. They're really useful. It's like, it's a travel card. It's like a credit card, but it's like a prepaid card. So you can top up in any currency you want. So you can say like, I want 200 euros or like $500. And you can just top it up. It's got like hundreds of currencies and it's so convenient. And you can use it as a credit card abroad. So yeah, you top it up and then you have the cash on the card. Then you spend it abroad. It's so useful. So what I do is I take money on that card, but also cash just in case. So uh, yeah, and also my third backup, my bank card, but I try not to let it get to that. But anyway, um, just waiting for my gate announcement now. In about 10 minutes, Milan Bergamo, gate 52. So now it says it's on time, so that's good. No delays, hopefully.
flight cost 24 pounds and 38 pence plus four pounds for my seats, window seats. If you ever wonder why I fly to, fly to Europe so much, it's not that expensive. The, the flight back is 60, but like under 100 to fly to Italy and back is really good. You can fly to many parts of Europe, it's all quite cheap. So, you know, when you go to Europe from the UK or just any way from Europe to Europe, flights will be cheap. You can get a good price on a hotel. I'm not using a hotel today because it's a day trip, but still, you can get a good price on a hotel. The main worry is spending money. It's not when you get spending money, right? Can make a cheap trip out of it. It's quite warm, um, 22 degrees I think, it'll be 27 um, later on, but I guarantee you the taxi will be expensive and uh, my ticket to the race was not as cheap, and it was not even close to cheap, so that's another thing. I saw a Mercedes fan just now, so not the only one who's still here, uh, still not at the track yet, and uh, I saw an Italian guy who spoke to me before we, before we took off. He was asking me about whether I think Charles can win. I hope so, my friend, I hope so. When I last came here, this taxi rank was filled with taxis. You know, there was like 20, 30 of them. I came here earlier this year for a day trip today, because it's race day, there are only two taxis. There'll be more, there'll be more. It's just down there. Oh, I didn't just see a Mercedes fans. I saw some uh, F1 American fans. Also, Monza for the first time at the airport, waiting for a taxi like me. I'm glad that I'm not alone. I'm glad I'm not the only one who was crazy enough to go to the airport, fly in on the day of the race. I wasn't the only one crazy enough to do that. So <laughs> it makes me feel better about myself. Anyway, I'm walking towards the track now. The fact that I'm going to be not just like not late, but I'm going to be like a few hours early. That's perfect. There wasn't actually that much traffic on the way here. There was a bit, but not that much. Um, I think that's partly because cars are not really allowed down here um, during race day. They're just not allowed during the weekend. So you have to park like far away and walk like an hour. So it's around the area of the track, not much traffic. Because it's mainly just buses and taxis that are allowed down here. So yeah, I mean, it's good because there'll, be, there'll be plenty of people here and I'm sitting on the main straight the most popular part. Um, I hope Charles wins, but Max is so fast. I know he's starting it near the back, but Max is so fast and this is a Red Bull type circuit. This Red Bull is so good on straights. This one has a couple long straights and I'm sitting on the main long straight near the finish line. <laughs> it could be Red Bull's day, but I hope it's Ferrari's day. Come on, Charles, we can do this. It's quite funny reading the list, the two lists of like what you can and what you can't bring to the track. I mentioned some things. You can take a plastic water bottle, but no cap. You cannot take a flask or a metal bottle but you can buy one in the track. They also specified that you can't bring a chainsaw. You're not supposed to bring a chainsaw at any event, but like events never specify that. So why have Monza specified no chainsaw? I feel like someone tried to bring one in at some point. <laughs> Otherwise, how would that happen? I'm hoping today's like two years ago. I wasn't here two years ago, but two years ago, Charles Leclerc, Ferrari's main driver. I mean, it was Vettel that, that year, but like obviously Charles Leclerc, he won the race. It was his second ever win two years ago. And now he's won a few more since then, but uh, he won. He won for Ferrari here at the home of Ferrari. And during the podium, there was a track invasion of Ferrari fans, all legal, of course, <laughs> but uh, they sang national anthem so loud. It was like an amazing atmospheric thing. I'd love to experience that. I'd love to experience a Ferrari win in Ferrari's home because this might be my only time I'm coming here because <laughs> I want to go to other tracks if I go to another F1 race abroad, you know? Hopefully we get a good race. And uh, I want to get some of that yellow merch, that, that new like one of 100 year, no, 75 year anniversary. It's the 75 year anniversary of Ferrari. So they released a special yellow livery. Yellow version is basically, it's the original color. So I want to buy some of that. And it's also the 100th anniversary of Monza as well. So. It's quite a good time to come here. Oh, look, listen, Charles is starting first. Hopefully finishes first. I have been lied to. The info on the website of Monza was there's a taxi rank next to the track. The taxi will take you there. Taxis are allowed in. The guy dropped me off towards this walkway. He told me three minutes. Apparently it's 40 minutes away in the walk to walk. But that's a bit annoying. <laughs> it's a good thing I came here a bit early. But uh, yeah, I remember at Silverstone I had to like 
get a drop off from a taxi from like far away. I had to walk over an hour. So same thing. It's good. Exercise, you know. It seems like a nice like park sort of area. A lot of cyclists going around. There's a river, stream, there's a nice field. It seems like a nice place to, to like chill. And inside here somewhere is the racetrack. Because that's where I turn right. There's a lot of people walking that way. The track must be over there. Where are the yellow Ferrari shirts? Have they sold out or are they just not here? I hope they're not here. I hope they're here. <laughs> It took exactly one hour to walk here from where the taxi dropped me off. Tip for you guys if you go to Monza ever, 40 minutes for the taxi, one hour to walk. So allow two hours if you're going from Bergamo airport. Uh, that's if you're taking a taxi though, I don't know about trains, probably longer. I'm not sure what that is, but there's an Avatari store there and just like Silverstone, you've got these exact same stores. Hopefully they have some yellow Ferrari, that'd be great. I think that's also Tauri, that's cool. Where's Alfa Romeo? They're also Italian. There's nothing yellow, nothing yellow. It's not here. It may have been there, just judging by that. Rally's anniversary too, 150 years, you what? I bought this cap to remember that I went there. It doesn't say Monza, but it says what it needs to say. I was going to get something like Alfa Romeo, Alfa Tauri, and I thought, I just, you know what, never mind. I think next year, I'm going to be back at Silverstone anyway. I'll get it done. I'm just disappointed because I wanted to see, I wanted to buy a yellow Ferrari, and it's just not here. Maybe there'll be some, maybe, no, I don't think there'll be another shop here, but I mean, there will be other shops, but they will be the same, I think. That's unfortunate. This is my stand. It says Tribuna Destra. I'm thinking Tribuna Destra B. So maybe it's like in the middle of this, or there's a B separate stand. But I'm here, I'm somewhere here. I think that is where you buy those tokens to buy things. It doesn't say B. I wonder if that's B. I asked and I've been told it is this one. So somewhere here is 26B. 26M, all right, this way. What's happening? Who's on the track? Well, it is time to go in.
e quindi well the spectator's feeling may be a lot of a sprint finish that may be the case but uh, safety car will come in at the end of this lap so they're not going to let the uh, cars unlap themselves, there'll be a little sprint towards the uh, start finishing line from Verstappen and obviously Leclerc and Verstappen can control the pace of the car right the way to the start finishing line. Reigning world champion in the Parabonica now. He's got two cars between himself and uh, Charlie Claire everywhere. saying like it was a very good race until the end. Ricciardo's car failed. So the safety car came out with five laps left. I thought, oh, maybe we get a couple laps, a couple racing laps at the end. That could be very exciting. All the drivers on softs. No. The race ended on the safety car. It took too long to clear Ricciardo's car and then 
by then it was too late because they had to still unlap certain cars so it was going to happen as soon as they heard that they'd finished like we heard it through Leclerc's engineer that the race would end with under the safety car we started hearing boots that's where the boots started and then when obviously the Stappen won so the boots continued I think they were booing more at the end of the race rather than the Stappen I don't think they're booing like because the Stappen won they were booing because of the way the race ended um, but yeah the ending was bad the rest of it was very good but still got a Ferrari in second but uh yeah, good race for the most part, and it was cool to experience this at least once. And I'm glad it was a sun sunny day as well. But if only we had a better ending, if only that's all it needed. Oh well, it is what it is. But um, I had a good time, and uh, this ticket was not cheap. Definitely not to sit there. So I say, let's go. Where would I find a taxi? The yellow shirt does look good, but it's nowhere to be seen. I've only seen a few, but I don't know where they're bought. They must have, they must have bought them here. They must have just sold out. Seen a few taxis around here. They have not caught any. This might be a problem. I'm a bit lost. Back at a different airport. Taxi was more expensive, even though it was closer, but a lot of traffic. The driver was very uh, erratic. He was very stressed out. Um, leaving one, I don't think he wanted to be there. I feel like someone took him there, and then he was just stuck there. And then he saw me. I'm just like, "Hello, can you take me to the airport?" He's just like, "Yeah, sure." But he did not want to work there. He did, definitely did not want to work there. He was so frustrated trying to leave the area. The roads blocked up because of all the traffic. He 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 made about ten new turns <laughs> trying to get out of the area. And then eventually we got out, he, he found a way. He got stressed out everything, like someone driving too slowly, someone making a slow turn, anything would piss him off. It was just really funny. Um, but yeah, I paid for my taxi, um, used up almost all my cash, got five euros left. I have got a decent amount of on my card left, so that will cover through the airport. But yeah, uh, <laughs> we are back. Uh, what a crazy day. I've got hours to kill now. We go and get a drink. I need a drink. By the way, that 100 euros I withdrew at the airport getting here was the perfect decision. I needed that. I needed that one. That 100 pound cash, 100 euro cash that I withdrew at Stansted this morning. I did not know how significant that would be. It has saved me from these taxis. So uh, Monza can be done in a day, but it is very stressful. Uh, either you get an expensive taxi or you get public transport and that's cheaper but longer you have to wait longer so a day trip is going to be stressful regardless uh, but you know if you like f1 if you love f1 uh, then i guess it would be worth it but yeah um, i recommend definitely staying staying a night or two getting a hotel definitely a lot more comfortable another european track i want to go to next year hopefully fingers crossed um, I'm, I'm still trying to think whether i can afford it but there's a track I want to go to, it's in Europe, but I feel like it's better if I fly on Saturday, stay the night, see the race on Sunday, come back to the hotel, go home on Monday. Perfect three days. I feel like that, that could be work, that, that could work. That's what I think, guys. I'm gonna go on an F1 trip, maybe not a day trip, maybe it's too much. Go on Saturday, stay a night, see the race, go home. Or, see the whole race weekend, go on Thursday, See the whole race weekend, Friday to Sunday, then go home. That's why I did for Silverstone, and that was amazing. Obviously, that's the same country, but still, it felt like a nice holiday. So maybe do that, but a day trip maybe it may be a little bit too much. Unless it's Monaco. Monaco's doable, I think. Either way, I had two hours sleep because I worked till 10 yesterday. So another piece of advice. If you're working a day before, it's not recommended. You need sleep. It's, it's not helpful being tired. I say this. There's F1 fans here. There's Ferrari fans. There's at least like two dozen of them I've seen. Now for a Mayo fan. So maybe they've done what I've done. Or maybe they were smarter and they came yesterday or the day before or before the weekend. And they're going home today. They're not crazy like me to go home on the same day on two hours sleep. sitting on like on here there's a there's plugs behind me so I have my laptop with power on editing the vlog so that's all good um, 
I forgot the wire for my camera, so I need to add on my camera clips. My phone clips are there, just my camera clips. I need to re-edit it for that, but most of it's edited. Don't bring white shoes, guys, if you're walking around in grass and mud and dirt. I brought my brand new expensive white shoes with my own personalized name on it. I bought these just like recently and I've ruined them. See, look, they, they were so white and clean this morning. Oh, dear. So, when I was switching cameras, I accidentally shoved my camera into my pocket on top of my passport. I was trying to slide it under my passport. Instead, it bent some pages, including the, uh, the most important page. Um, Hopefully it's not too much of an issue. I, I tried to like, you know, straighten it out. Um, but yeah, uh, <laughs> uh, what a bad end to the day. Anyway, let's get through customs. A lot of Tic Tacs. Who eats that many? And Willy Wonka's factory? Like, what's going on? Why is everything so big? <laughs> In B, but not sure if it's that way or that way. It just says B, there's no gate info, the flight's delayed as well. Just what I need. <laughs> 11 to 35 p.m. I'm meant to land in London. But because it's delayed, I might land tomorrow. It's just, just, just all I need. But I need to know my gate. I just can't go, like, I've got to go one way. Until I know my gate, I can't, I don't know what, I've got to stand here. It's great. I'm not, I'm not the only one, but that's frustrating. The airport's struggling today. I've been to Italy, this, this is my fourth time this year in Italy. It's been a total of six days there, but like, experiencing Italy, Italian airports, their customs are really good, it's easy to scan your passport, get it stamped, service is great. But flights, almost always, almost every time delayed, no matter what the airline is. There's four planes back to London from here, just tonight, all delayed. One went to take off two hours ago, the other one hour ago, both just taking off now, which is crazy. Another one that's delayed, my one is delayed, 40 minutes apparently. The morning one today was actually on time, but it took off like 40 minutes late. This one is 40 minutes late already. I don't know when it will take off. <sighs> My mom's at a party and she says she's gonna be late to pick me up. I think even she will get there before I will. Every time, there's even flights canceled, not to London, but there's a flight to other places in Europe. A couple of flights canceled today. It's crazy. <laughs> Milan Malpensa. That's the airport I'm flying home from. I flew to Bergamo. There's another one called Lenati. Never flown there. I think I probably have. I went to Rome. Actually, no, I went to Rome. No, that was a different. Lenati is the uh, home of Alitalia, which is a uh, Italian airline. I flew that airline to Rome with my granddad uh, in 20... 2008? I can't remember. A while ago. Went to Rome. It's a very nice holiday. For my future European trips, I am hoping that EasyJet have all the flights that I need because I have a good time with them usually. Ryanair, <laughs> I've had like maybe one flight on time, like ever, and that was the Pisa, I think. Uh, they're not quite as smooth. I'm hoping to avoid them from now. This is my last flight of them, they scheduled. Hopefully from now, we can stick with EasyJet, maybe British Airways, but they cancel a lot. Not be as many European trips next year anyway, but still, like this year has been crazy. You know, Paris, Nice, Monaco for Formula E, Race, um, sorry, not race, Pisa, uh, Bologna, Maranello, Medina, Silverstone for the British Grand Prix, Milan, Madrid, so Australia, did all sorts of things. Melbourne, Great Ocean Road, Canberra, um, Perth, Sydney, Tasmania. Went to a lot of places, watched the AFL games, and uh, Germany for a couple of days in Dortmund. And now this. What a year. It's going to be very hard to stop this year, very hard because you need a lot of money to do these things. And uh, I saved up a lot for this year, but next year, it won't be as heavy. So it might, I don't think there's a, there'll be any year ever that'll be as heavy as this holiday-wise. So I don't think I'll ever top this year, but you never know. <laughs> we could uh, have some great adventures next year as well. We're going to the US, as long as my passport isn't too bent. What airline is that? That plane is huge. Bloody huge, mate.
It's made it through customs. This kind of didn't work. It's always stands to I thought it was because I folded my passport, but it showed my face. In Italy, it was perfect. Italy, both sides, both ways. It scanned first time. Heathrow, it scans first time. It's always this airport. I got to, I had to see a sick assistant. As soon as I got to the guy, it took him like two seconds. Welcome to the UK. <laughs> like, clearly it's not my passport. It's the airport. It's the scanners here. There's nothing wrong with it. There's a conspiracy. Quite a few F1 fans that flew home. Like, I didn't see any on the way there, but there were quite a few that flew back to London with me. Uh, mostly variety fans. Um, but yeah, McLaren, Mercedes, Mil Williams as well, and uh, and Red Bull. Good Red Bull. So, uh, yeah, good to see. Good to see. Anyway, yeah. Um, got to get, get to my lift now. Cause they only just arrived like 20 minutes ago, so yeah. But I'm over an hour late, delayed. Not my fault, but it is what it is. At least we're home. <laughs> at least we're home. This could have been smoother towards the end, but at least we got to see the race. I saw Monza. I saw F1 at Monza. Bucket list. That's another one ticked off. Gone from hot Italy back to cold and chilly England. It was summer last month. <laughs> Where's all the heat gone? <laughs> Take me back to Italy. This is depressing. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. I took my laptop to Italy so I can edit the vlog quickly and get the vlog up quickly on Monday. But because I forgot my wire for my camera, I couldn't transfer those videos. So uh, it's gonna just take too long. It's past 2 a.m. I need to sleep. <laughs> I've had two hours sleep plus some sleep on the plane. So I need to sleep. And then this vlog will be on Tuesday, definitely. So yeah, I'll see you later.